Well, you know, you brought up something interesting that reminds me of when, um, this is the closest I'm going to get to technology, but when digital nonlinear editing came in, you know, the big sales line was, it'll make your job so much faster. Mm -hmm. But as we discovered, people just use that fastness to be able to, the speed to be able to make more and more and more and more decisions and cuts. You know, and it what clarified your thinking. It's, it's a good, you know, if you look at it from a writer's point of view, it's the difference between the manual typewriter and a, and a word processor in, in that regard. I cut a lot of films on films, and there was a point on a film when, you know, it was you against the movie because the mechanics of it were so clumsy compared to the nonlinear thing. I mean, this is 20 years ago. My question was, and you brought it up, but when do you know you're, you're, you're finished? And you brought when, that up when yeah, you tried I know, I know. every when, clever idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, does that what? What about everybody else? When do you? You might know you're finished because the deadline. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, so yeah the deadlines do the have deadline a, when do a that post uh, production supervisor screams. <laughs> you're not gonna. I don't know that a lot gets done without a deadline of some sort. And and in fact, that's a that's a good thing because if it's so open ended, you know, in, in a way, you got to be forced to step up and everybody with you and say yes this is it and then you know it's like dominoes once you make that decision that other decisions made for you so much of that is tied with it you know we have deadlines and release dates and you and tv boy you know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah the train better get there <laughs> or else yeah for me like it's a different process such a different process than film because i spend way more time cutting on my own and assembling than any other part of the process so I strive to make my cut as perfect as I can possibly make it. Um, and now I've been on the show for so long that it's easier and easier to do that. And then I spend just a matter of a few hours with producers. Uh, so it's, it's a backwards process from, you know, I mean, I, you know, my producers are invaluable and, and like geniuses, but they do so much work in the writing of it. And then I, I spend so much time that we only spend a couple of days together and then it's out the door. That's interesting. Um, so I, I take more care and more time, so I kind of have to decide, like, when is this right on my own? I don't send out, like, a, oh, this needs some work type thing. That's not, Well, how do you different. know that moment when, okay, this is the right, I mean, is it like Jay, where you've when tried? When they renew the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, do all your, you do all your clever ideas until you find the right one? I or? just, I, yeah, I get, it's easy for me. I get, um, I know when it's ready, you know, I feel very happy with it. I don't send out something I'm not happy with. So yeah, for me, it's like a lot of time alone making those decisions instead of hammering at it, which I think is good for comedy. You don't want to overthink it. Yeah. What about you, Zach? What are your experiences in regards? Well, as far as TV, it's certainly the same thing that they've said where the deadlines are what tell you when it's good enough. And I'm a perfectionist too, so I'm usually putting in more hours than I'm getting paid to do to get it mm -hmm. to the point where I know that it has to be finished a certain time, so I need to get it to where I'm happy. Um, at that certain time, but where I really experienced what you're asking is with the documentary film that I've been yeah. directing and producing for like five years now, most of which hasn't been post, like over four years of that was raising money and getting the film together and shooting it. Mm -hmm. But I was, I was my own boss. I had nobody telling me when it needed to be done, no distributor telling me. And what I found was that as I was, I hired an editor to edit it, and I found that, like he said, I would suggest things and they were never better. Like I, I literally, I did a screening of it two weeks ago and I'm watching it and I'm like, I should probably cut that and I should probably do that. And I'm like, oh wait, I've mastered the movie. I probably can't do that anymore. So my head is refusing to accept the fact the picture is locked. But when I really decided, you know what, it's time to hand this over to sound and it's time to lock picture, I just kept trying to make it better and I couldn't do it. I kept having these ideas saying, let's cut this out, let's make it shorter, all right? Well, now we're losing something. It's the, an analogy that I learned on Burn Notice from one of the producers that I love is they said that you know, when, you're, when you're trimming the fat, that's good. But if you start trimming fat too deep, you start to dig into muscle. And you don't want to cut muscle. And if you go really deep, then you start to cut the bone. And when you get to the point where you're cutting muscle and tendons and bone, you got to back off because all you're trying to do is cut off the fat. So it's, it's that moment, like he said, when you're just constantly being rejected and you can't make it better, that's when I was like, all right, I gotta be done. I'm, cur I, I'm curious, do you see film, do you out, go out and see movies or TV where you think, oh my God, they cut bone on that or they, you know, they cut into the muscle? Do you get that impression sometimes? Um, my feeling is that a lot of stuff that's on out, um, they're doing the opposite. 
where I just feel like things are not being cut enough and they're not spending enough time on it. And comedies are two hours and 40 minutes. And well, it's that like, is true. Why? That. I don't care how funny you think it is. It's not funny for 150 minutes. It's just not. So it's kind of the opposite. Well, it is I, the trend of super, super, super long yeah, movies. Yeah, I think that yeah. the TV is great and that it imposes a number. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, like HBO and Showtime, they have a rough number, which I think is even better because it's right. like you have like a five minute window. But with broadcast, it has to be 42 minutes and 21 seconds. Make it fit. So if, if you have a producer in the room that says, well, I really like this scene, well, too bad. We lock tomorrow and we got to lose two minutes. So I think that you're, you're given that ability to not have to indulge. Whereas features, with you guys, I'm sure your experience is very different, where it can take a month to cut that minute out because it's just a constant intellectual battle of, well, it should go, it shouldn't go, it should go, it shouldn't go. They go and then comes back yeah. and goes, it you know, comes back. this comes back. Yeah, yeah. right.